645 Collins rests out on a rural setting out in Bourbon County. Two story brick home, either on 10 or 15 acres, depending on what you want. It's actually three separate five acre tracks. As you walk in the home, you can go straight through to the kitchen or come into the uh, living room slash dining room, which by the way, they don't have set up that way. And then there's the office straight ahead on the other side of the main entry hall. Great views in all directions. Come into the kitchen. They've recently redone the kitchen floors. Again, great views out the back. Solid surface counters. All the appliances stay. We have our laundry area with a little mudroom sink. The Andersons are getting ready to move, so their garage is filled, but you have a two car filled garage. There's a little half bath on the first floor just off the kitchen area. And then the other neat thing that they've recently redone is they've encapsulated the basement, which is just really a fabulous thing to do. But it will be dry for all eternity now. I should have called this crawl space anyway. It's about five foot in height. So you can walk around with a little stoop. This is the master bath and closet area. There's a big walk-in closet. Pull down stairs if you need more storage than what you have downstairs in the basement. And then this is the second closet as it opens up into the master bedroom area. That's a big nice space. Things are the views coming out of the master bedroom. Look at that. Here's one of our other bedrooms upstairs. Jim uses one as an office. There's a bath at the end of the hallway. And then here's the fourth bedroom upstairs. Remember, the office could be a fifth bedroom if you wanted it. It does have a closet. These are the views from the back door of the house. Of course, you can hear the wind chimes forever in the back there. Our work shed is being redone. There's some more of our paddocks. It's very convenient to the barn, and that's the equipment building. Back up. This is a fabulous custom-built five-year-old barn. They're 12 by 12 stalls. Heavy oak wood. You've got four stalls. This fifth stall they're using as like for hay storage. It's actually a wash stall. It's got a drain in the center there, believe it or not. Um, but it can become your fifth stall or you can go back to being a wash stall. They've got room for three additional stalls down this side. They were kind of using them sort of as run-ins. Um, we can slide boards in and out of them. The great thing is you can see it's an insulated roof. It's a steel truss, struss, truss structure. This is a grooming stall. Sorry, lots of stuff in there. You got a tack room, it's heated. You have your own uh, uh, sink in there, plus you have your own uh, laundry. So you don't have to do that in the house. This is the view of the other side of the barn. It's a big wide center aisle barn. You got hay storage above. You've got a ladder going up to it. We parked our cars in the way, sorry. This building was here when the Andersons bought the property. It was kind of just a run-in shed, but they made it into a great big, uh, huge equipment storage, hay storage type area. But you've got approximately Oh, about 24 by 36. 
they had alpacas. So there's interior wire paddocks for, they make four paddocks here. But the remainder is really all bored on the entire property. This is their little dry lot area on this side. You can take down the wire if you wanted to. One of the cool things about this structure is though, look how it overhangs. So it's like a perfect run-in type structure if you want run-ins. Then on the other side of the farm, there's a grass ring. And more paddock space. There's an additional five acres over there to the left. back to the house. And this is the barn side. And again, you can see those paddocks. That fencing can come down if you want to and the remainder is all board fencing. It's a beautiful farm.